when you do rotary axis control from the Aspire software, or VCARV Pro for that matter, you are only substituting your A axis for one of your other horizontal axes, uh, X or Y. In this case, I'm going to be substituting A for my X. The problem becomes that Aspire only allows you to input one feed rate for X and Y. And instead of working in inches as X and Y does, the A works in degrees. So instead of inches per minute, you have degrees per minute. So it becomes somewhat of a problem because, say for example, in, on this machine, I run my y-axis and my x-axis at 200 inches per minute. Well, Aspire doesn't know that we're running degrees per minute, so it's substituting A for X, so A gets 200 also. So we're saying 200 degrees per minute. Well, it takes 360 degrees to make one full rotation. So we're saying that it's going to be a minute and a half before the rotational axis could even make one full revolution. And what I'm going to do here is load a file that's doing just that. In other words, both the A and the Y have 200 inches per minute as their feed rate. Only the A is not getting 200 inches per minute, it's getting 200 degrees per minute. And this is a common problem with Aspire or VCAR Pro when it comes to the rotational axis. And here, I believe, is that file. Now, if you notice right here, this is turning very, very slowly. This is turning 200 degrees per minute. As I said, it would take more than a minute, nearly two minutes, for this thing to make one full revolution. Way too slow to be doing anything with. It's going to burn your wood and everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and abort the file. Now I'm going to rotate my A back to zero. And I'm going to run another file that's set up a little bit different. And what I did with this file is WinCNC, in WinCNC you have the capability of setting a maximum feed rate for an axis. So what I do is I go into the WinCNC.ini file and I change my R value on my axis spec line for Y to 200. Therefore it can only go, the fastest that it could possibly go is 200 inches per minute. When we come to the WinCNC.ini file, you move down to where you can see the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, a-axis. I made a mistake when I said that we changed the R value on the axis spec line. I meant to say on the axis vel line for the y-axis. I set that R value to the speed that I want the y to travel while I'm using the rotary axis. In my case, I want it to move 200 inches per minute. Then when I set the tool to 20,000 in Aspire, X will be replaced by the A and the A works in degrees per minute which is what the T4 here stands for instead of inches per minute which the Y will work. So 200 inches per minute here 20,000 degrees per minute here. Then in a spire, instead of setting 200 as the feed rate, because Y can only go 200, I set it at 20,000, which means that A is going to get 20,000, which is 20,000 degrees per minute. 
and that allows the axes to run a lot better because y can now go 200 because it will go as, since I gave it 20,000 as a feed rate it can only go 200 so it will go 200 and the A has a maximum much higher than that like 100,000 degrees per minute and I'm telling both axes to go 20,000 A will go 20,000 degrees per minute so here's that file it looks a lot better Look at the speed of the rotation axis. There it's cutting a notch on the end, the same as it did on this end. Now it's rotating back. It's cutting another spiral down. It's already cut one. It makes two passes per spiral. files complete and it finished in 1 minute and 23 seconds. Had I left the other one running, it probably would have finished in 4 to 6 hours, something like that. A minute and 23 seconds compared to 4 or 6 hours and no burned wood. Thank you.